Hello friends, this is Neetu Jain. Today we are going to talk about emotional intelligence. In this video, we are going to discuss what are emotions, what is emotional intelligence, what are domains of emotional intelligence, what are the steps in developing emotional intelligence and what is the importance of emotional intelligence. First of all, let us see what are emotions. According to Daniel Goldman, it is a feeling and its distinctive thoughts, psychological and biological states and range of propensities to act. There are hundreds of emotions along with their blends, variations, mutations and nuances. There are more subtleties of emotions than we have words for. Emotions are neither positive nor negative, neither good or bad, but their effect is good or bad. Emotions are neutral, powerful and important. If we are tuned out of our emotions, then we will be poor at reading them in other person as well. Friends, in this light, we can see plastic wheel of emotions which indicate a number of emotions such as joy, sorrow, grief, disgust, amusement, happiness. So these are the range of emotions which any human being feels. Today, success of any organization does not depend only on technology, systems and resources. It depends on our understanding of human nature. But how do we know it to be true? There was a research which was carried out by Gallup organization over five decades and they asked questions to employers, employees and covered many industries. The question was, what separates winners from runners? What separates a good organization from a great organization? Or what makes an organization click? The aim was to uncover what separated productive organizations from not so good ones. Research findings indicated that the common denominator was leadership. But how do leaders influence people? They influence people through the power of emotions. Emotion is the key. Therefore, along with thinking, we must have feeling. Along with intelligence quotient, we must have appropriate EQ, that is emotional quotient or emotional intelligence. It is pertinent to quote Professor R.C. Solomon here, wherein he quoted, without the guidance of emotions, reasoning has neither principles nor power. Now, let us see what is emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is the ability to perceive, control and evaluate emotions or the ability to use the power of emotions intelligently. It is the ability to recognize emotions in self and others and to deal with them effectively. According to Robert Cooper and Ayman Sawaf, it is the ability to sense, understand and effectively apply the power and acumen of emotions as a source of human energy, information, connection and influence. So emotional intelligence is ultimately the ability to recognize and respond to the emotions and feelings of others as well as the skill to help others manage their emotions. In essence, the mnemonic ruler aptly describes emotional intelligence. R means recognizing emotions in self and others. U means understanding the causes and consequences of emotions. L means labeling emotions accurately. E means expressing emotions appropriately. And R means regulating emotions properly. It is pertinent to quote Daniel Goleman here. He said, great leaders move us. They ignite our passion, inspire the best in us. When we try to explain why they are so effective, we speak of strategy, vision or powerful ideas, but the reality is much more primal. Great leadership works through emotions. Now let us see the domains of emotional intelligence. In this slide, we can see there is a window and on X axis there is self and others. On Y axis there is regulation and recognition. If we are able to recognize our emotions, we have self-awareness. If we are able to recognize emotions of others or if we are aware about emotions of others, then it is social awareness. If we are able to regulate our emotions, 
then it is self management. And similarly, if we are able to regulate the emotions of others, that would become relationship management. Therefore, self awareness, self management, social awareness and relationship management make four important EQ skills. And self management coupled with self awareness develops our personal competence and social awareness coupled with relationship management develops our social competence. So we need to have personal as well as social competence if we need to have high emotional intelligence. Self management is nothing but emotional self control. It is keeping disruptive emotions and impulses under control and having a calm and clear mind. We need to understand emotions in other person as well. We need to pay attention to their non-verbal cues, we need to make eye contact and we need to focus on their emotions so that we can understand what they are going through and we can empathize with them. Now let us see how can we develop emotional quotient. First of all we need to accept the emotional intelligence, we need to understand that emotions do exist and they are important along with the power of emotional intelligence, we need to acknowledge it and we need to have faith that we can develop emotional intelligence. That is the first step. Second step is developing self-awareness. That is emotional scanning and establishing the current emotional status. We need to be aware of our own emotions. We must admit our emotions and we should not ignore them. Rather, we need to own our emotions and take responsibility for them. We should be clear as to what extent we are expressing and suppressing our emotions. So that is the self-awareness. Third step is awareness and acceptance of emotions in others. To what extent do we empathize with others? Are we aware about their emotions or their response to emotions? Do we follow the same yardstick? for them which we are following for ourselves. Emotional response basically depends upon the physiological considerations, it is a learnt behavior or conditioned response. So we must follow same yardstick for assessing their emotions as we are following for ourselves. Next step is defining emotional roadmap. What is the desired state of emotional intelligence and what is our current emotional intelligence? We need to check our emotional intelligence and we need to see where we need to go. We need to take steps to bridge this gap, take some interventions to bridge this gap. So we need to identify the gaps and the specific needs felt first. Next step is sharpening the cutting edge. It is a conscious learning process. Learning is a process from womb to tomb. We must continuously strive to improve our emotional intelligence. We must learn, make efforts in this direction. Next step is integrating thoughts and feelings. It means there should be a congruence between our thoughts and feelings, between what we think and what we say. And we must integrate our emotions with our intellect and allow ourselves to learn to grow as a person. We must develop an action plan based on our learning. Last step is the most important of all that is action, action and action. We must maintain a journal wherein we report our emotions, we write down our emotions, we write down how we are feeling on a particular day and why we are feeling and what we can do to improve upon it, how we can feel better and we must analyze ourselves, we must meditate regularly to improve upon our emotional intelligence and we must review these things periodically. Now the last part of it that is importance of emotional intelligence. Undoubtedly emotional intelligence improves our performance at work since we become conscious of our performance and it enables easier coordination among people. Emotional intelligence also helps improving upon our health since we are able to regulate our emotions and we can manage our stress well. Therefore it makes us healthier and happier. Being aware of our emotions and being able to regulate our emotions improves upon our moods our anxiety level is reduced and it helps improving our attitude towards life thereby it helps us come out of depression very soon. 
Emotional intelligence significantly improves our relationship with others since it helps to communicate our feelings in a constructive way. It helps in understanding the needs, feelings and emotions of people we care about. Therefore, its tendons are born with people. Emotional intelligence helps developing conflict resolution skills as well since it helps in empathizing with others and helps in developing better negotiation skills. Indeed, emotional intelligence helps us reaching the zenith of success since it improves our self-confidence and ability to focus on a goal. Leadership Yes, I already shared with you that research has already indicated that great leaders are those who have very high amount of emotional intelligence in them. Therefore, emotional intelligence helps us improving so many spheres of parameters of our life. Friends, along with this video, in the additional reading path, I have given you a self-administered questionnaire on emotional intelligence. So you can assess your emotional intelligence and check up with the results. Thank you very much.